is good guys and welcome to the first Fancy Witch Kitchen on YouTube. This beat is automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. Hey Fancy Faces, it's me, Scotty and Ramus, and I'm back again on your screen. And this time, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I told you guys I was doing a makeup tutorial when I said, would you like a full look or would you like a 90s soft glam? And you guys voted for 90s soft glam, so here it is. If you want details on how to get this look, please just continue watching the video. There's a lot of highlighter in it a lot but bitch are you living before we get into the video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up because you're gonna like it because you like this look don't you that's why you want to keep watching so yeah give it a thumbs up obviously if you have not yet subscribed subscribe it's important and turn on the notifications the notification bell which is down there somewhere you like no i never know where it is but it's down there somewhere and you click on it and whenever i upload you will get a notification so you never miss a video it's amazing if you would like to see how i got this look continue watching and i hope you enjoy it Lego. first of all i'm taking the pro base aqua priming base by makeup revolution get out wet and shit just how he likes it yes i'm going to be inappropriate in these makeup tutorials as well next i am going to do a bit of color correcting so i'm just gonna like neutralize all that using the la girl pro conceal in the orange one what's the color of this oh orange corrector this stuff is fucking potent right you do not need a lot so I squeeze a little bit on my hand dub, dub, dub. and then i just kind of do little dabs around my face where i need it but i'm going to outline my brows in brown coal pencil and then i'm going to use the makeup academy pro brow ultimate eyebrow kit Did it look the same? Probably not. Oh, that's close enough. I look like a cat. <laughs> I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in with the little brush thing that it comes with. And I'm gonna go into the brown and like put that all over the inside of the brow. And then what I like to do is just go in with the edge of this and go into the black and just kind of like ombre the brow. And that's good enough. Then what I'm gonna do now is go back in with that clear mascara. I'm just kind of like brush all the product through. I like to kind of comb, like brush it like really strong at the front to kind of get it to fade because I don't like it when the whole brow is strong. Like we can't all be strong. We need to have balance, bitch. Now that that's done, I'm going to rub out the corrector. I like highlighter. This is the first layer. So I'm going to go into the Sleek Makeup Precious Metals Highlighting Palette and I'm going to use the Platinum shade. Yes, I break everything. So this one here. And what I do, I just rub my finger in it and I just literally just dot it around my face. And then I just rub it out with my fingers. I love you and I want to be loved. So as you see now, it's a bit like, oh, it's glowy. Next, I am going to take my banana powder. I use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I have an oily T-zone. This is what this is for. And then with a face puff, I dip it in and... Next, I'm gonna take a flat angled brush and my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and I'm going to clean up the brows. And then I take the excess that's left on the brush and I put it all over my lid and whatever's on the back of my hand and just tap a tap a tap. So I use the powder again and I tap it onto my lid to use it as a base for my eyeshadow and to make sure that the concealer does not crease. And trust me, this stuff will make sure that your concealer does not crease. I'm getting better looking already. The MAC Match Master SPF Foundation and I am in the shade 8.0. Um, so I just use like two to three pumps on the back of my hand. First of all, I'm going to do the top of my brows and then my face. 
and then I just like to tap it out with my finger just to kind of buff it out. What's left on the back of my hand is now going to go on my face. And I just bounce this all over. Mmm, it smells like soup. That's a weird thing to say. Make sure that you kind of get your ears and up into your the front of your hairline a bit so you don't have the line and down your neck and next i'm going in with my la girl concealer again so we're going to start highlighting and contouring big bitches right if you lot have got the like i do pay attention bitch this is where we smash the shit <laughs> So what I do next is I bake my under eyes right away. Always make sure that your creases are gone before you bake or anything. Otherwise, you will set the creases. I look mad again. Anyway, <laughs> do there, do there, and then kind of just swipe over this with wherever nothing is left. Right. And then I'll see. Down there. I'm gonna leave my nose nose for later, and you will see why. My nose notes like there's another nose. Right, so next I'm going to take LA Girl Pro Conceal in what's this one? In dark cocoa. And I kind of stop just under my cheekbone and kind of curve up a little bit. Now I'm going to take that down the sides of my jaw. All around. Because this is how we get snatched hole. This is how we do Instagram deception. I'm kind of dragging it down as well. Got shadow equals slim. Just remember that bit, shadow equals slim. This is where the, the nose snatching comes in. And I draw from my brow bone down, but I get narrower, I go down to the end. And then kind of buff it out just a little. Then take your ring finger, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of buff out the edges a bit. Right, then what I do with the rest of the product is how I get the extra snatch. So I basically take all of it and I colour in the bottom of my nose so that kind of gives it the illusion of like it, that it's upturned and I'll pull some of it down into my cupid's bow to give it a bit more depth and then we're going to use some on the chin to just to help your lips look fuller for whatever it, not that I need fuller lips but it's a thing so that's what we're doing and blowing that up what I like to do as well when I'm doing the contouring stuff, I kind of like to bring, like when it's on my jaw, I like bring it up a little bit. Just to snatch. It's all about the snatch. <laughs> I was thinking of a vagina. Anyway. Next, I have to take my foundation brush and we're going to brush off some of the light bake. Are we finished contouring yet? No, we are not. Next, I'm going to go into my Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in Dark. So I'm going to go into the contour shade with the same little brush. It'll kind of come out a bit damp and I'm just going to sharpen up these lines. And then I take my foundation brush and I just like that on the end. Right, so I'm going back into the um, contour palette. I'm just going to shake that about in the dark shade and literally because of the way it's kind of worn I just kind of sit it against my skin and then I just drag. Look at that already bitch. Snatched. And then I lift it up because I feel like if you drag it down your face starts to look really muddy. So you get a clean line and then you just work inwards towards where the highlight is to kind of buff them together. Snatched. Take this small eyeshadow brush and there's another powder is left in here. And I'm going to tap it right down the center of my nose. Then you get the foundation brush again and... See? Now we're all highlighted and contoured guys. Don't be so special. So what I do next is I take my lightest highlighter, which is the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in Iridescent Gold. And I take a fluffy brush 
sweep, 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 sweep. Go over my high points. And I'll go down just here on my nose. Right in like the middle of the bridge. And then I go across. This is so I give it like this kind of button effect. And I do like a little cross in the middle. Give as well chin center of the forehead. Next I'm going to take my MAC Press Block Powder in Deep Dark. And this is just to kind of calm down the contour. I take a face pot and then pat that on the larger space the larger surface areas on my face next i'm going to take my mac blush in fever and i'm going to warm up my face smile this is the best way to do it smile and then tap and i like to bring my blush up right up against my nose and i put it all over my nose i put blush everywhere basically go over my nose contour and also tip Put it over the tip of your nose because it makes you look like you're like flushed and on my chin and then over the contour on it like this ignore the bottle this is elf setting spray i can't remember what it's called but it was shit but it sprayed really weird so i put it into my old revolution pro fix um oil control fixing spray which is what i use in the end which is in this bottle. What I use this to do is to just marry all the powders and stuff together and what it does it kind of provides like this kind of shield like a kind of film so anything that I put on top goes on like really smoothly and too pigmented. And don't be afraid to like get wet bitch. The wetter the better. I need to stop. I keep feeling like I'm like saying porn phrases to you guys. It's just because I'm disgusting. Ignore me. See, everything's kind of calmed down a bit now. Now the fun begins. Highlighting. I'm gonna go back into my contour palette and we're going for it, bitch. We, we just go in there. We just, we just want to glow. We want to look like a fucking Oscar. Tap it on the highest points of your face. Go back in again. And then I like to sweep it on top so you get that. Ooh. Oh, I'm living, there she is. There's that bitch. Then I'm going to take my little eyeshadow brush again. And really going on the nose now. And because this color is kind of calm, it's not going to look super crazy. This is the snatch of the nose one last time. For extra snitchily snatchiness. A sleek Ultramax version 2 or v Ultramax V2 palette. I take this kind of dark, kind of tummy blackish colour and I'll get it on my finger, ring finger, and black curves just by my nostrils. I just doop, doop, and then rub it out. Snatched. I'm gonna go back with my blush brush again. And a teeny bit of fever and just rub it on the end. Next, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty in Trophy Life because ugh, this is the best! Simply the best! Ja, ja. Now, this is the epic Are you ready? And tap, bitch, tap. Oh! Oh, she lives! This is amazing! You just need this. You just need this. Anybody that feels they don't need it, they are lying to themselves because you need it. No, that's not the last highlighter I'm doing, bitch. Next, I'm going into the sleek. Um, Sleek Distorted Dreams palette. There's this blue cream highlighter in the middle. I love this shit and I just tap it in random places over it. And what it does is it just gives these little like pink and blue and purple flecks between it. It's like a shiny bright looking diamond. Well, that's what you want to do, bitch. You want to shine and you just want to fucking blind everybody. Fuck the eyesight. Do you see that? Do you see? Do you see? Not done. I'm gonna go back in with this super icy shade. And this just proper goes on the top tops of wherever you're highlighting. Like the highest, highest points. Just to give it an extra bling. Okay, that's highlighting done for now. This is what I've been waiting for. The best part of makeup, the new Makeup Revolution Flawless 4 palette. Obviously 90s. And there's loads of browns in here, which is what I love. Like. I love neutral hair. It's not that my makeup is ever really that neutral. Okay, 
So I've sort of done this eye for you guys, so you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replicate it on this eye and we'll finish it up and stuff and look great. So what I did first is I started off with this brown shade right here and I put this in the crease down the outer edge and then dragging it towards the center and blending it with my contour. I took a smaller brush and I went into that really dark, dark brown at the bottom right here. And I concentrated that on the outer edge, like just in the eye socket to deepen it. I took a flat eyeshadow brush and I took this kind of palish brown here and I packed it onto my lid. I bring it up a bit higher in the inner corner just to let me my eyes a bit wider. Then I went back in with the dark brown and I just kind of put it on the outer edges to make it a bit smokier. So I did it in like a kind of V shape. Then I went in with this kind of terracotta shade. I think it's called terracotta. And I did that underneath my eye. I like quite a blown out under eye. So if you don't, you don't have to do this, but I like it. Cause it hides my bags. And then I go in on the blend brush. I sweep it under again to soften it and to blow it out more. And then I kind of just drag it over the eye to soften everything. I took the black a little bit because black's always pale pigmented. And I just went along the top of my lash line halfway in and I kind of lifted it up towards the end and just kept blending until it was like really soft. And then I went back in with that brown and go over the black. This is a dark brown, yeah. And then bring it just down on like the outer quarter of your lower lash line. Take my small eyeshadow brush and I go in with this gold right here. And I go under my brow bone. Concentrate most of it towards the outer area here. And then again, and I put it in my tear duct. Cause it just kind of opens up your eyes, see? Take the blending brush again. And just soften that out as well. Next I'm gonna take the Undress Your Skin highlighter again. And just go over my inner corner highlight because I like the shit to pop. If you see it now, it's a bit more brighter. And then just put the teeniest bit in the arches just so when that light hits us. Boom, boom. Now we are going to move on to liquid liner. I use Rimmel's Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. This is amazing. It's one of those like soft brushes so it goes in really easily. Shik, 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 shake, 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 shake. And I start on the center of my lid and pull it out. And then with what's left over on the brush, then I start to put in and I do bit by bit so I don't fuck it up. I mean, it's eyeliner, you always fuck it up, but this is just makes it less fuck upable. I'm just gonna do a small wing. So next, we are going to curl these lashes up to God. I'm going to tight line my eyes and go along my waterline and kind of smudge it out as well. This is the Coral Eyeliner Precision Color by Collection in Black. And then I'm gonna go back in to the Revolution palette and back into that dark brown color. And just kind of drag the eye down and smudge it out along with it. This is literally a lot easier to do than looking over there. Why was I not doing this for the whole video? This is one of my like favorite mascaras like in the world. Bourjois Volume Clubbing Mascara, Extreme Volume, Ultra Resistant. This shit. I think maybe this one of them ones with like the fibers in it so it like extends your lashes as well. I sort of tug it back and forth along my lash line and then wiggle it up and rotate the brushes I'm doing that and that gets like the best coverage. And I'll go over top as well go along the bottom lash line. In the comments, like, if you would like to see more of these, or even like message me or whatever, let me know because this is quite fun. Like when I put on makeup and stuff, like I put like beauty marks on my face, but I covered, end up covering them up with makeup. So I always like to go in them again. 
So this is another eyeliner from Rimmel London. This is the Scandalized Bold Eyeliner. And it's got like this weird little like nib at the end, which ended up being perfect for me during my beauty mask packing. So I just simply put the two on my lips over here. Bloop. Bloop. In every picture that you guys see me in, I have a heart on my face. It's my thing. For this one, I use a felt tip. Eyeliner. This is by collection. For the lips, we are going dark and vampy because this is the soft, this is the graphic. This is the super matte liquid lipstick, and I got this from Primark. I've got this MAC pigment, it was £10 and it's in tan. And it's a little pencil shadow brush, and I'm just going to tap a tap a tap. -a. I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lid. So it's just a nice little little shimmer. So I've applied the lashes. I got them from, is it Case or Casey? It's a hair shop in Brixton. I'm thinking to put gloss on my lips since we're glamming all that. And the final, 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 final step is the actual Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Five pound super drug, this shit is the bomb. So let me just put on the finishing touches and I'll see you guys in a second. Right, so this is the finished look. I really, really, really hope you guys liked my first tutorial. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I can like improve on or what you liked or you didn't like, you know, because this is my first one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure that you comment below and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and obviously hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload very important so you can follow me on social media all of my socials are at Scotty and Famous and remember if you would like to check out more of my stuff you can go to shakirascott.com where everything I do is on there and you can like, join my mailing list and everything else and don't forget every Friday I update a chapter of Running Wild which is my sexy BDSM erotica street lit thing which everybody loves because you're all tramps but it's fine I'm a tramp too we're tramps together it's fine how is life, bitch? Don't know what that was. I just, I'm awkward. It's fine. So if you haven't watched my previous video, it's here. You can watch it and it'll be great. And as always, I fucking love you guys. Like glitter and penis. Never forget that. I'm just not giving you guys a thumbs up. It's really weird.